adorers in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, hallowed be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from fire and hell. Lead us, O Jesus, to the gates of heaven, from all the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. <laughs> 
stand, join me during the transition prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering us together and calling us to serve as your disciples. You have charged us with your son, Jesus, and his shepherd, with the great mission of evangelizing and witnessing your love to the world. Send your Holy Spirit to guide us as we discern your will for the spiritual renewal of our parish community. Give us strength, courage, and clear vision as we use our gift to serve you. We entrust our parish families to the care of Mary, our mother, and ask for her intercession and guidance as we strive to bear witness to the gospel, celebrating the policies of each faith in your community, and together building an aging parish. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. the peace of our Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Trust in God's mercy as we say, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brother and sister, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and, and what I have failed to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most greatly fall. Therefore, I ask you, dear Wilson, all the angels and saints, and you, my brother and sister, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable intercessions of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid. We pray, O Lord, so that fortified by the protection, we may reach the mountain with its Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Although Moses and Aaron performed various wonders in Pharaoh's presence, the Lord made Pharaoh obstinate, and he would not let the children of Israel leave his land. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it as the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, one on the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. 
you may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month, and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. It shall not be eaten raw or boiled, but roasted whole, with its head and shanks and inner organs. None of it must be kept beyond the next morning. Whatever is left over in the morning shall be burned up. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins gird, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover Lord of the Lord. For on the same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord, but the blood will mark the homes where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with the pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Praise be to God. Our responsorial, I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus was going through a few of rains on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of rings and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to the, them, Have you not read that what David did when he and his companion were hungry, how he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering with neither he nor his companion, but only the priest could lawfully eat. Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath, the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent. I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. 
sacrifice, you would not have condemned these innocent men. For the sons of men is water of the Sabbath, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you here, Joy, to celebrate on 15th week of ordinary time. Even it called ordinary time, but each day we have a lot of extraordinary and a lot of stuff going on. I thank you for your prayer. I have a wonderful meeting with the parish leadership of each day, and both financial and pastoral council, listening to them. And yes, at many of us during transition, we lamenting, we sorrow, we whining, we talk about all what happened in the past. And that most of us that affect us for present and future. But yet, God calls us the most important is the present and the future. What we are, taking care of who we are at this moment. And yet, for tomorrow, what are we going to do? But most of us, that at the time we just have so much baggage to carry in the back and then not let go. Today, the church also celebrates the feast day of Mount Carmel. And you know that in that you know, place, many of you have the appeal the opportunity and privilege to travel in that place is the place for, you know, Prophet Elijah there, and then also the Carmelite monastery, and they have the big church there, and all the historian, all things with the devotion of Mary, the one who protects, and many of you, Kamala, you wear the, you know, that all that protection, basically, that all the same, yes, and John, you know, and also St. Teresa and all the different same draw about how wonderful Mary protects us, take care of us, and through her intercession also that take care of what we present and ask her for. Also, we hear in the first reading today story of Moses and Aaron, and all this so exciting. And as I say that, all of the past, the history, the story of faith should nurture us. And all these stories should help us to overcome with lamentation and sorrow and all the things. And then today with the gospel, one of the statements we have to take home and meditate upon. And Jesus today remind the Pharisees and the you know, church leader and all. Do you remember that God desires for mercy but not sacrifice? Mercy but not sacrifice. Most of us, we focus on the sacrifice, on all the things what we have to do and all. But yet God calls us and just during this time, and I know, like yesterday, I say, what's going on? If I focus for the sacrifice, people say, that's crazy for you doing that, you know. But if you get focused for mercy, and then you're able to find a lot of joy in what you do. Early in the morning, you have to be there at recitation, confess, and before mass, at night, after night, night I just take the vestment off, the principal walk, do you know that you and I have to go to the bank? Like, what? You know, oh, <laughs> okay, so we can do it. You know, go to the bank, you know, our paperwork and during this time. I mean, take time, you know. Most of us sit there and talk with one another. And time keep flying and then keep going. And until noon, we try to finish, go back and try to do something and catching up. And then all the stack thing going on. And then, the moment coming back, try to do things and hear the coma hospital coin. 
I said, are you the one who replaced Father Martin? We call him and he said he's in Vancouver. He cannot run over to the hospital. We have three people need to be anointing. Are you the one that who replaced him? Oh, oh yep, yep. We, we need you here, you know. The family waiting before they going to operate her. So, yes, they just, oh, oh, okay, okay. So, I have to run, you know. Run after uh, anointing, and then you have to come back or more one or two, and then come back to St. John of the Wood. There are the things you have to do, you know. Sacrifice, you talk about sacrifice thing. And then here, you know, St. Joseph coin. Father Martin say that he cannot come in here and then, uh, you know, we need the priest and he's on his day. Are you the one that to replay him? Mm, but what the message did? Oh, yes, I am. So we need you here, you know. Wow. And then after you run to St. Joseph, about to St. Anne, and then here you try to catch up common. You have appointment, Father? I say, I don't think so. Oh, the couple here see you. Oh, <laughs> wow. And after that, we have confession here, mass and all the things. Yes, we desire mercy. That's what God wants. And then we can be with mercy, with joy, and all the things you can do. Oh, if you focus for all that and not have faith in the Lord. Today, that the scripture reading every one of us that if we surrender ourselves and yes god will take care the sacrifice of the eucharist jesus truly present with us we have to come and yes he say come yesterday you hear the gospel you know come to me all who labor and all Come, I will offer you rest and trust in me and I will give you peace and comfort. We come and yet the Lord will take care of each one of us at this time. We have so many things we want to present to God and may God in his mercy bless upon our petition as we say, please stand up. So we offer our prayer as we say them. That the prayers and sacrifices of consecrated religious bear great fruit for the church in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. That governments ensure religious freedom for all citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. That all victims of human trafficking be freed and those who enslave them be converted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. That young people respond to the call of Christ to be sent are to be sent are doing good through vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. That the diverse people of our community cherish one another as brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Sonia Bojorges and Lanu Naupa'u, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers entered into our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. We ask you to bless upon those who we anoint yesterday for Anna, for Nancy, for Thomas, for Richard. All those people trust in your mercy and healing. 
looks upon them and their family, looks upon those family who lost their loved one, the funeral this evening, that they might receive comfort from you. And we ask you to bless upon all the prayer we present to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. May the water and wine become the divinity and humanity of Christ who blessed upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, receive my sacrifice in human heart. Lord, wash away my iniquity and free me from my sins. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifices and goodness for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of our holy church. Look upon the offering of the church, O Lord, as she make her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you make all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and bones of the virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bones of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice. We acclaim uh, holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray. By sending thou your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way. When supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, and we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age. We may marry to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the same command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our world day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our worshipful Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with let us offer each other the sign of peace and love. Lamb of God.
down. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, my Jesus, body of Christ. Let us pray. 
pray. Having consumed this gift, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effect upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Amen.